you guys. Transparency in the chair. Are you guys wondering what that's all about? Well, I'm here to tell you. I am Kay Simpson Bethay, and we have Ray Fletcher coming to the mic. We have two dynamic stylists that's been in the industry for over 50 years. 50 years of experience, stories, um, knowledge, a wealth of information to give to you guys. You know, whether we're helping you with relationships, whether we're helping you with business ideas, whether we're helping you with um, how to handle a certain client or whatever, this is what we're here to do. Um, our show is going to be very transparent. Transparent meaning like you're going to get all the tea, all the juice, all the skinny on what's going on. We're always going to start off with a good juicy topic, give you the body of that thing, and then we're going to end up with some factual actual factuals on supporting our narrative, all right? So we just want you to join us every week as we come through, giving you a little segment of ourselves, and we're just here to share and tune in. So what's the juice? It's going to be juice today. Uh Uh-huh, it's going to be juice. Because we're talking about life balance. Take a sip. So listen. Listen, let's talk about it. This week was monster. This month. This month was monster. Mm-hmm. But this week was, what the hell? Yep. So, in the beauty industry, mm-hmm. you know, most of us have started off as single people, right? We find our careers young. We mm-hmm. fresh out of beauty school, fresh out of esthetician school. We may have a boyfriend. We may not. We may have kids. We may not. Mm. But pretty much the majority is starting off as single loners, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we hustling, we bustling, but then the man comes in or the wife comes in and say, yeah. hey, man, why are you working all these hours? Yeah. Because we hustle. Because we're trying to. Well, you know what? <sighs> okay, that word hustle. Come on. The word hustle for me, mm-hmm. I think, especially in our industry, has really... Uh, I don't like it anymore. <laughs> okay. Because when I think hustle, I'm thinking street. I'm this, then, the other. That's true. And it's my career. And mm-hmm. so many people have really downplayed our career. Yes, they have. Because of that word hustle. Because it's not a hustle. It's a career. You got a good point, though. Because we are people often consider the beauty industry as the plan B. The plan B. I cannot forget, and I will never forget this. Years back in, in the career or whatever... There was a client of mine, and and so she was like, yeah, she likes my son or whatever, but um, what else is she going to do? You- and I said, huh? Right. And she's like, yeah, I mean, hair is good, but is she going to college to do something, or this is it? Like, I'm like, I said, so when I'm letting you know, because you obviously don't know. You obviously don't know. Our career is multi-billion dollars. Yes, it is. We are six-figure people. Yes, we are. So I can still go to college and be making five figures mm-hmm. when I can be a stylist and make what a doctor makes. Right. Or go to college and not even work in your field. That most people do, because mm-hmm. they want to please their parents. There and they go. really don't want to do it. Oh, that's a whole nother show. Okay. Yeah, you know. Whew. So I was like, you know, when we're not knowledgeable of, of a thing mm-hmm. then that's the perception absolutely so i think that's why for me i don't like to work hustle because then it makes people feel like it's a hustle i like that does that make sense yeah so we need to like remove that from the the description yeah. of the beauty industry so yeah. let's run that back run it back when you when you start off in this industry mm-hmm. nine times out of ten you solo don't know yeah. right then you get your significant other maybe some kids come into play mm. Then all of a sudden, it's like, why are you spending so much time at the salon? We need to do X, Y, and Z. So let's take the hustle out of it. It's more of the the grind, the drive, um, the demand also. Yeah. Because if you're praying for increase and you want to increase your clientele, right? pray for rain, mm-hmm. you've got to get ready for the mud because here it comes. Yeah. Right. And then oftentimes, we are the breadwinner. See? How do you say How yes do you- in French, too? We 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 yes yes we were there she started now no. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I think it's a little bit of animosity that comes with that it is but I mean relationship period um what attracts people together is the very thing that pulls them apart mm, 
So it's like, I like that strong black woman. Or I like oh. that woman, period. Her drive, her ambition, her goal. Man, she be on it. Yes. However. And then. And then. Life happens. And it's like, oh, but we got the kids. What about me? Hey, hey. Mm-hmm. I'm still the same person. I am. Although we have these new entities in place. Yes. Now So what? now what do you expect for me to do? Right. So. Because I'm not going to ask you to change your career, honey. Right. So, but then, but that's the thing. So, how do you create that life balance? Do you need to create the life? Well, let's back up. Do you need to create the life balance if you're in a relationship? Absolutely. Okay, that question is answered. Secondly, but do we? I'm telling you something. Come on, <laughs> I'm, I'm a, crisis management. I'm drinking my juice. I'm a crisis management. Mm-hmm. So, if I see a situation, mm-hmm. I'm going to figure out what the easiest way to solve the problem. Absolutely. So for me, mm-hmm. me personally, and there's plenty of women like me, mm-hmm. I am, I'm probably like a workaholic. I was called that the other day and I didn't like it. Oh, I I embrace it because it's, it's fact. You know, once okay. we, once we, you know, sometimes we get a little, um, when people, it feels like a negative thing, but it's really not. It's what it is. I mean, you know, okay. Okay. so I'm not going to get mad at what really it is. Once I, at first when I heard Easter, I'm like, what? Yes. No, I'm not. And yeah. I'm like, oh, well, girl, you I are. Because even on vacation, you're thinking about when you're coming back home. You Listen. Take the coin. Exactly. So, yeah, exactly. I am. Exactly. You know? Yes. If I'm off days, I'm still willing to go to work. Yes, I am. You know what I'm yes, saying? Yes, we are. If we're outside of the 40-hour box, you kind of are. Okay, well, that's me. Take me. Hi, I'm Guilty. Rachelle, and I'm a workaholic. I'm, I'm going to embrace that. I'm okay. And I'm work And I'm okay. We're okay with it. All right. So, so we're workaholics. You, how, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, how yeah. do you do it? The balance or... Do you feel like you need it? Oh. Mm. Transparency. Here we go. Yes. Um, When I have my mindset on a goal or things I need to do, all that other stuff is pushed to the side because I'm trying to get it, right? So, for example, I got two seniors right now. I have a high school senior and a college senior. I'm thinking about May. Last May. I'm already thinking about May 2024. I'm getting envelopes. I'm budgeting. I'm planning what we're going to do, a party, what we're going to do. We're going to do a trip. So I'm already setting coin to the side to prepare for that. In doing so, I got to grind more. I got to do this more. I got to take that one extra client because that can be the very thing that I put in that last envelope for the graduation gift. So it kind of just comes with the demand. Right. You know what I mean? And like even when people call, you getting some rest? What? What's that? What's that? Yeah, I remember told me Uh-oh. she was 70 <sighs> and I said Green why are you still working and she said when I stop living I stop working. that's true she said if I stop working I'm gonna die I said what <sighs> and I understand that now because I'm like if I have things to do purpose, purpose. I have a purpose I have a mission so yeah. it's not gonna get solved by just Going home and watching TV. It's not. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Like, we got things to do. We do have things to do. You know, and a lot of times we, people, period, Mm -hmm. say they don't have enough time to do things. Yes, you do. You do. You do. Well, first of all, people make time for what they really want to do anyway. Bam, right there. And people. Yeah. Time and people. Yes. They make time for the people they want to make time for. They prioritize where they want to, Mm -hmm. and they make time to do what they want to do when they want to do it. Right. Because same thing with making appointments. You know, when they say, well, I just can't work with your schedule. Well, honey, you don't really want to see me because I know people that take off work to come get their hair done because it's what they want to do. Absolutely. So they make time for what they want. Right. So then when you're, what would you say to an up-and-coming esthetician, stylist, barber, whatever, the demand, like they just get into the industry and they just skyrocket. They just boom, boom, boom. They just getting booked and busy. Yeah. But then along comes a girlfriend. Along comes a boyfriend. Hey, what about me? I. Yeah. What's what? I personally feel like, like I said, crisis management. Yeah. Yeah. So for me, it's kind of like, would I date somebody with a nine to five job? Absolutely not. That would not work for me. They wouldn't understand Because you. what the nine to five person would then do, okay, it's 5.30, it's 5 o'clock. Mm-hmm. Hey, babe, what time are you getting off of work? Mm-hmm. Those Where's are dinner? not my hours. Yeah. Where's dinner? Where's this? There's that. Mm-hmm. Oh, I want to go hang out. This mm-hmm. is, That's not my, That's that, that wouldn't be my person. Correct. You know what I'm saying? Right. My person will be somebody with a lifestyle similar to myself as far as work scheduling. Right. So we won't be like. Or entrepreneurship. You know, Exactly. That's, you know what I'm saying? Also, an entrepreneur you know, that can understand. Correct. Yeah, even if you're a doctor, lawyer, whatever, but it has to be, our schedules have to be kind of 
marrying each other Mm -hmm. so it won't be a big conflict. So for me personally, Mm -hmm. I'm looking for that kind of person. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? For me, I have a child and I know my work schedule is crazy. Mm -hmm. And now my partner's work schedule is crazy. Mm -hmm. So guess what? I decided to say, I'm going to get somebody to help me take care of my child. Yes. Because my mom is is in heaven. You know what I'm saying? So... I didn't have that extra structure that normal people would have, like the grandmother, the this and the Correct. other. I didn't have that. Right. So I created somebody that I, I'm like, you're similar to me. Mm-hmm. So my values will still be part of my child while I'm There absent. you go. There you go. You know what I'm saying? And that's important. So yeah. that gave me that comfort to be able to then create this future for us. Right. You know? Mm-hmm. Now, that was my, my walk. You have a different walk. I have a different walk. Mm-hmm. So... My walk was, my mother was there in the beginning. She mm-hmm. passed in 2020. Mm-hmm. I'm sure. Yes. Um, and right around the time I had my third child, she was retiring. So it was perfect. So she didn't get to keep my first two, but she was hands-on for the third one. And with right. the dancing, the competition, the basketball practice, boxing. Okay, she was there for it. And, and I, and I want to make myself there for it, too, when my kids get there. Right. Anywho, so I did have that. But my significant other works nights. So it's like passing a baton. When I'm getting off, he's already gone. And when I'm getting up ready for the next day, he's on the way home. So oftentimes we were missing each other. Mm-hmm. But absence makes the heart grow fonder. CC. Looking forward to the weekend. Yeah. So it works for us. But I'm not going to lie. Transparency. He had to pull my coattail and be like, hey, uh, you've been at the shop for like 16 hours. And I was. Hey, but then he was more so on the health and the rest and what you're going to do. And I'm like, I've been doing this for um, 10 years. I'm right. good. This, yeah. this is what I do. Right. If I'm not doing it, I'm thinking something is wrong. Like, right. why have I sat down for five minutes? I know I got to be doing something. Right. Exactly. Right? So he did have to put my coattail a little bit. And I do, you know, we that's when we do the vacations. Mm-hmm. And then we insert a date night, mm-hmm. you know, um, I can't really talk on the phone when I'm at work. I'm sure you can relate. Right. Because when I get to a haircut, I got to get off the phone. Yeah. Right uh-huh. now, yeah, we could do it with our eyes closed, but still. And then, giving you know, you know people the all over the ear. Yeah. You know, yeah, they're yeah. hearing all the good tea. Uh, yeah. yeah. I want to hear your tea. I don't want you hearing my tea. Exactly. Because right we're yeah. counselors. Yes. Right. <laughs> so, you know, it's just a matter of, um, take, because at first I was resisting. I'm like, oh, this is what I've been doing for, you yeah. know, da, 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 da. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, okay, this is what he needs. I got to make a compromise. So I couldn't pull back fully because of the demand and because right. of what I want, my own personal goals. Right. So I did have to insert that time, at least when I get, so my habit is when I get off of work, honestly, I'm calling him or I'm calling you. Yeah. Right? Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah, we talk yeah. on the way home. Um, Make sure that phone time, I'm not a phone talker. I got to have some purpose when I'm, I'm not going to sit on the phone and just hold the phone. What are we doing? You know, yeah. normally we talk is for a purpose. Yeah. And insert that time, insert a date night, and who don't want to go on a trip? Who don't want yeah. a vacation with their family? Mm-hmm. So I would say to that up-and-coming person, don't be so resistant if that significant other says something, but they need to know what it is before it get there. Right. Like, I mean, like, because I, I pulled I pulled quickly. This is what I was doing when we met. Yeah. I was doing this before you pulled got here. Pulled that card, right? Yeah, I pulled it real quick. Don't change me. This how you see me. I dealt it. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. And so then once that was accepted, now I can compromise with you. But I can't pull back from this demand. Right. Right. So, I mean, it works out. I mean, and, and it has to be balanced. It's, it's kind of like, I mean, it doesn't matter if it's the hair career or, or whatever it is. Correct. If your person is saying, hey, I need more of your time. Mm-hmm. Then we have to, because life is about the coinage. I mean, it is. The coinage. Money makes the world go around. Live, you need Absolutely. To, to, to take the trips. You need to do all that. Mm-hmm. So if we're going to say, hey, whether it's the woman asking for more time from her person or the man is asking more time from his person, mm-hmm. then it's okay. If we're going to do this, then where is the balance in the coinage? So Hello. what are we going to do about the coinage? Hello. You know, so to make us have more time together, mm-hmm. how are we going to? Balance the coin. Yeah, because they you know, don't really the, care about right. your quality time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they still the want their money. The kids cheerleading, you yeah. know, the, yeah. the, the equipment, all that mm-hmm. still needs to be taken care of. Mm-hmm. So we can't just always demand of that person if we're not going to have a solution for Correct. what's going to be the deficit at the end of the day. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. So, like, for me, like I said, I presented somebody to help me take care of my son. So if I want to do something with my husband... We're not scrambling like, okay, we don't, we can't do it because we have, because we, we need a babysitter. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We don't have, we can't go on this trip because we don't have a babysitter. You know, mm-hmm. my family's very small here, you mm-hmm. know, because yeah. my family's all over. And so 
concentrating in Houston is very limiting. Right. So I can't say, oh, I'm going to drop you off at Auntie Patsy's house. No, 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 no. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. We don't have a lot of that going on, you know? Right. And life be life in. Life be life in. You know? So then you, you sometimes you really just have to put the thing down on paper. This Plan is my out. schedule. Mm-hmm. This is the kid's schedule. Mm-hmm. This is your schedule. How can we insert some time? Do, some family rest. Time. Family time. Couple time. time. Kid time. You and know, then, and... and and your own personal time. Yeah, far be it for me to request some personal time. Because yeah. <laughs> I find myself half the time, my personal time is riding from work to yep, the that's house. It. And then once you get to the house, you clock him back in. Yeah, because then yeah. wifely duties. Yeah. yeah. The kid be asleep by then. But yeah. you know. Yeah. Then like mommy duties, night. you know, depending on how old your kid is. You know what I'm exactly, saying? Exactly. Because then you got to tune into that because I feel like when we're that busy, sometimes the kids do get the shaft. Yeah, they do. Because, and I, I'm i learning this because I have a lot of adult friends. Okay. And I wonder, why are you like that? Ah. And then when you find out. How are they? Some of them are like real like sensitive, defensive. Okay. You know, just not happy. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and it spills back to the childhood. Everything spills back we to the childhood. We didn't see that. I didn't have that. Mm-hmm. I didn't know how to articulate that. Mm-hmm. I helped. Raised myself, you know, because my parents was always at work. Yeah. So in it, I feel like if you have this craziness going on in your life, we still definitely have to in tune mm-hmm. with, hey, what's going on with the kid? Mm-hmm. You know, because mm-hmm. I, I mean, seriously, like, yeah, I'll have to, I go up to my son's room yeah. every night. Yeah. Even though he's asleep, I pray over him. Absolutely. You know, I ask God to, you know, guide his thoughts, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. that his friendships are healthy, you know, Absolutely. and that sort of thing. And then when he wakes up in the morning, if I'm there, I make sure I hurry up and get up so I can lay eyes on him. Hey, what's going Catch on? Catch him before he gets, you know, yeah, go to school. Or That's call right. him in the middle of the day or yeah. drop him off at school when I can. Hey, mm-hmm. what's the tea? What's going on? You know, right. kind of insert myself into his life, you right. know, to make sure, hey, I'm still present. Right. You know, right. I'm still your safety net. Yeah. You know, you, you understand what I'm oh, saying? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. So, so for me, with my three, mm-hmm. it was different. Of course, when they were all at home. Now I have one in, in college, right. two at home. But the two at home, the oldest of those two, she now drives to drives her and her younger sister to school. Right. So I'm missing out on the on the way to school drive. You on, know, On the T. Yeah. You know, how was y'all, you know, what's going on today? You know, y'all make sure I have a good day. So now when I don't have to wake up at six, I do anyway. To catch them on the way out the door. Let me mm-hmm. get a little bit. You know, y'all have a good day. Try to look, kiss on the cheek, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Send them out on the road. Pray over them on the road. They're going out and coming in. Um, the college kid, I know for me, when I was in school, I didn't call my mom. I was trying to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I, I give her like 48 hours. Hey, just checking on you. Yeah. Oh, I'm good. I'm all right. What you cooking tonight? Because she cooks a lot. She's saving money. You right, know. Right, right. Oh, maybe some pasta. All right. Well, I'm just, you know, I didn't want nothing. Just checking. Okay. And, you know, whoop de whoop, we gone. Yeah. So it's a, it's intentional. Right. You know, and you have to do that. Right. So. And, you know, then there's the spouse. The spouse. <laughs> so. So. I say for me, transparency. Taking a sip. Right. <laughs> <clears throat> for me, he might just <laughs> be getting home. Yeah. Or I know he's on his way home. Yeah. Or vice versa. Mm-hmm. So we'll take a shower together. Handle it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That way, you know, yeah. we conversing in the shower. Yeah. We, like have relations in the shower, you know. So you think I got to, I need to upgrade my shower? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Cause it's like a two for one special. Cause we actually. can't fit both. I mean, we no. can. It's going to be kind of tight in there. Yeah. So I need to, okay. Upgrade. I'm just gonna make a note. Mm-hmm. Two for one special. Two for one special. So we're talking. We talk. And then we handling the little wifely duties. Yeah. 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 And we getting clean. And then, at and the then end. clean at the same time. Yeah. So then now it's not so. Oh my God! I just took a shower. Now I gotta go and go do the thing. And then, go, <laughs> and then go back in the damn shower. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's a two for one. And then like knocks it. it knocks it out. Then he's sleepy. I love it. And then he's asleep. He's, and then yeah, I can still can. have my me time before yes. I put myself to sleep. You know what I'm saying? Correct. Because, you know, if it's done right, they're going to sleep. Yeah. Absolutely. You know I mean? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And then so then it's kind of like that's the mission. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So although I used to hate the, and people hate it all the time, the schedule <laughs> of intimacy. But, man, when you're busy, it's not a bad idea. It's hey, not. you ask your person. Because me and my husband used to get at it all the freaking time. Like, yeah. oh, it's only when you want to and blah, blah, yeah, blah. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, no, I'm just conscious of what's going on. Like, if you have to get up earlier on this day, yeah. 
I'm not going to wake up and say, hey, babe, can you go cut the yard? Yeah, come on. Yeah, we're not doing that. At 2 in the morning? No, I'm not going to do that. Right, right. So, I, and knowing that you have to be up at 4. Exactly. So, I'm like, let's see what our schedules are like. Mm-hmm. What days are you going early versus what days I go in early? Mm-hmm. And then let's meet in the middle of how many times do you feel is a good enough time for you to get some, <laughs> some boots? So, wait, let's back up on the booty. Of course, men need it. We want it. But we have to want it. Do we have to? I mean, I can't. F- well, we f- to fake here. Listen, transparency, listen. So the scheduling is good, but for me, woo me, start me at lunchtime. Hey, thinking about you. Send me a text. Let me get my mind on it. Because I'm telling you, when I get home, I'm on a mission. To take a shower and go to bed. Or do whatever I got to do. If I got to send these emails, if I got to do this, I got to do that. Mm -hmm. For men, and I know there's no man here to stand up for men and all mankind. Right. But for men, men, we uh, invite them. We should. But you know, when they have like a hard day, oh, they just need it. That's going to, you know, calm their nerves. When I have a hard day, that's the last thing I'm thinking about. Right. Okay. I just thought I was by myself on that. No, no, no. Okay. Men are physical. Women are emotional. Exactly. With the need and the want. That's that's what I was going with. with Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So I'm like, if if we are scheduling for me, within that, lining it out. Right. I know he's off on the weekends. Mm -hmm. Can, Can we do a little foreplay in the day? Can we put my, you know, even for me mentally, I start listening to slow music, oh, you know, on the way home. You there, get you I put mood. on Tank or something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Come on. Or, mm-hmm. you know, Chris Brown, mm-hmm. Usher, mm-hmm. all that. Bye. Yeah. I got it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. it's getting my mind ready. Right, right. You know, they don't need that. They just, they, they, see, really a, like, they see a titty. Let's, let's get to it. They don't even need to see a titty. Damn. Got it. But then it's important in the process of the work-life balance to ask Honey, honey, how many times a week do you feel is necessary? I don't want to ask that question. No. Mm-mm. You don't? Mm-mm. You scared? Yeah. Why? Because I know what the answer going to be. What is it? Every goddamn no. day. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no. See? Okay, listen mm-hmm. to this. Mm-hmm. If I eat Cheesecake Factory every day, mm-hmm. one day I'm going to be like, I don't want this damn Cheesecake Factory. I'm tired of it. Okay, I see where you're going You with see what it. I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So just because you can doesn't mean that you, you should. should. Hello. And that's just the that's just the golden rule in life, right? Just because you can doesn't mean, doesn't mean you that should. you should. And it's biblical too, because that's why God gave that lady the menstrual cycle to give her that break. So He doesn't intend for it to be every day. Mm. So man shouldn't either. Come on, with I'm the just factuals. Saying. These are the that's actual factuals. That's factual, factual, yeah. actual factuals. You see what I'm saying? Okay. And so I mean, and just like human beings, I mean, we get tired of anything that we do redundantly every day. Right. We get tired of it. We don't get tired of doing hair because we're constantly meeting different people. And, and doing different things. Different, different experience. And different yes. styles. And different but, techniques are coming right. up. So, yes. But listen to how many industries, they're like, oh, I'm just sick of my job. I hate it. Because they do the redundancy. 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 We don't. So then what if your spouse then says, well, let's spice it up then? Is that enough change? Throw a wig on? I mean, it could be. <laughs> I mean, because you could be Tina tonight. Yeah. And uh, Karen tomorrow. Yeah. Go get your little outfit, but switch yeah, it up. But so still, that may help, but still. But it's still a good idea. It is. To find out what that golden number is. Right. I mean, because, you know, we assume all the time, all oh, they just want to do it every day. No, not really. Not every man wants to do it every day. Because he might be just as busy as you are. True. You know what I'm saying? I know when my husband dog tired, listen, I can't even get that joke off the... Babe, go take a shower. Yeah, oh, yeah. Just give me a yeah. few more minutes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah you know? Yeah, yeah. So it depends on what their lifestyle is as well. Mm-hmm. But there is a magic number that they feel like they're not being neglected. Correct. And, you know, it works for both y'all's schedule. You know what I'm saying? So we need to get a magic number. Yeah. Weekly. Yeah. What's right. that weekly number? I mean, right, is listeners. it two? Is it three? Is it four? Is it, that's you know? our homework then, listeners. We need to get that magic number. Right. It's, so it's not even if we don't fulfill that. At least it's in the back of our mind. Right. This is what's required. You're more conscious. Yeah. Yeah. It's for him to be happy, that helps with the balance. Mm-hmm. What the, What does your child require of you as well mm-hmm. to get the balance? And then what your career is is yes. entailing. Yes. And then along the way, when you're off, using your time wisely. Mm-hmm. Being are productive. cell phones are a time killer? Yes, they are. 
You know? Because you can go down a rabbit hole. Rabbit hole, and it, before you know, it's ours. Mm-hmm. So the things that we say that we don't have time for or the mm-hmm. work-life balance, mm-hmm. we kind of do. Mm-hmm. It's just how do we use our time wisely? And that's why I say it's not bad to put it out on paper. Right. So look, let's get to, let's get to the some tips on how to create a life balance. Now. Okay. Okay, so I know for me, one of my life balances... The actual here. The actual... Fact checker. Fact checker. Hi. Nice to meet you. <laughs> so let's get your paper and pen. Get your paper and pen. Yes. I know for me, I'll, I'll get, I'll share one tip. I know for me, I can listen to music at work. So okay. in the car, I choose not to listen to music. I listen to a podcast. I listen to an audio book. I listen to something that's going to better me. Even though it's a 10, 15 minute drive, 10 to 15 minutes is a lot. That's a lot of time. Yes. So I can use that either, either if I'm checking up on my auntie to live by herself in X home. Mm-hmm. If I'm calling, you know, whatever, that's the time I'm going to use for that because we shouldn't be texting and driving. I'm not going right. to post. Right. So that's what I do to, like you said, time management. Be productive. Yes. All right. So I'm pulling up this information on the Infer- Intermountain Health website. Mm. Thank you, Intermountain. Hey. Number one says put you on your schedule first, then schedule life's chores afterwards. That's going to be so hard. Do you know? <laughs> I'm stressed out, Half of society. No, I'm more than half of society. More than pretty half. pretty sure. Mm-hmm. It's in reverse. Absolutely. You are at the end of the thing and not the beginning. Absolutely. But if you're not together, then how are you going to get everything else organized? Exactly. The, Exactly. Yeah. Like, okay. The whole, so if that's you don't love yourself, how can you love somebody else thing? Absolutely. All right. Okay, so number one is us. 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 Number two. Oh, this is going to be hard for us. Simplify your life. Simplify the Identify life. the things that drain you and replace them with people, activities, and things that spark joy that will enhance your life balance. I can I can understand the explanation, but just to simplify your life, like, where do I start? What, what does that look what like? What does that even look like? I'm telling you, if I'm sitting down anywhere for more than five minutes, I feel so awkward and out of place. And unproductive. Like, I have things to do. And it might not be, because you know what? And when I realized that the pandemic, when there was nothing to do, I said... I was I leaving my house at 10 in the morning? Uh-huh. Not getting home till 11 at night. Mm-hmm. What the hell was I doing all that on my off day? Like, what was well, I doing? Running the And errand. the same things that happened through the pandemic, mm-hmm. everything was taken care of, and I was still chilling at the house. So what am I doing? Wow. I was a, being a very social butterfly. Oh, yes. you want to go to lunch? Lunch takes a few hours out of your day. It does. You know what I'm saying? Do you still go in the grocery store and shop? No, because I have an addiction. <laughs> Transparency. I could go into all. I could go into Walgreens and spend one hundred fifty. On what? Because I'm going to walk right out. Each oh, aisle. Oh, that's so cute. Somebody you know, needs this. Yeah, or I need it in my mind. In your mind. You know, I might go in there for water. Then I'm like, ooh, those Snickers ice cream. See, is really good. Or that. So I have a problem. So I understand. Right. When they started that curbside and delivery, I'm like, this is the best thing. Yeah. And I can absolutely monitor my spending better. When I'm putting stuff in the cart because it's giving you a tally, yes. right? Yes. And so I'm like, I'm never going inside of H-E-B again. That makes sense. And I'm just, and it's coming to my door. Right. What? And that saves like, what? Because in the grocery store, it's like an hour and a half. Yes, because that I'm going to walk. Time. I'm going to walk through every aisle. Right. Oh, look at the kumquats. Look yeah. at the asparagus. Right. Like, yes. Oh, you they're sampling over go, here. Go to the movies with your kids yeah. and your family. Yeah. Give me all what you just used to make that. You know, the little sample people. Yeah. Oh, I want all that what you right. use. Right. So. I want that cocktail too, you Simplify know. Simplify your yeah. life. Mm-hmm. Juice swap. Okay. Yeah. Number three, learn to say no. Without this critical skill, your time and life won't be your own. Dang. <laughs> your face. I have a problem with saying no. Say no to, I know I have a problem with saying no. Maybe uh-huh. we need to figure out what, what we're saying no to. Right. So give us the other facts. All right. Uh, Financial and emotional well-being are connected, which means don't allow yourself to think you're trapped in debt and helpless. Face the pain of your situation and make a plan to put your finances in order. I mean, we can do that. Okay. Number five, identify activities that give you energy. Be sure they're in your schedule and you'll discover your fatigue disappearing. Hmm, That's a thought. Surround yourself with high-quality relationships. Definitely do that. Design a routine that allows you to accomplish what you need to get through your week smoothly. That's planning ahead. Basically planning ahead. Assess the use of technology in your life. You just talked about that. But technology could be ordering your groceries. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Eliminating, you know, being productive with your time. Take a few minutes to relax your body. That's going to be hard. <laughs> Don't be discouraged. Okay. And number 10, focus on your spiritual self. Find a quiet, still place to connect to your inner wisdom 
or your higher power. Practice meditation on a daily basis. Journaling can also be useful. I can see that. Because I, I kind of, if I'm not on the phone with you, um, I know, right? in my car, no yeah. music, mm-hmm. no whatever. And then even when I get on my driveway, then I spend a few more minutes just to thank God. And, or, Absolutely. You know, or even after the house is settled down, mm-hmm. I go sit in the living room, look at the trees outside. Mm-hmm. And, you know, then I have my moment. Just appreciate the. Uh, yeah. Yes. And then bring it in. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I like that. Yeah. So we can do that. Yeah. If you can't do all 10, I mean, definitely try to pick start out three of them. A, start off with number one. Mm-hmm. Number one, put you do on your on schedule first. first. Yeah. Can and, we do that? Yeah. Life balance. Yes. I think it's about compromise as well. Right. So that's the solution. That's the juice. That's the juice for the day, I y'all. I hope we quench your thirst. Cause, uh, um, give me some. Give me some. Mm-hmm. We'll see you next week with the next episode. All right. Transparency in the chair. Deuces! Show me! I want you to put something up high. I want you to make them.